Yeah. You know you want one of these. You know you want it. You, you know you want it. Come on, come on. You've been watching it for a while, thinking about it. Maybe, maybe not. Um, yeah, but yeah, but, but yeah, anyways. I'm going to be giving away. Maybe I'll be giving away. She said, perhaps I'll be giving away. Maybe. I think I'm going to give it away. I think maybe if I get 1,000 likes on this video, I'm going to do a giveaway. So 1,000 likes on this video. Keep watching. If you, th if you see this video get gets 1,000 likes, 1, 000, 1K likes, then I'll upload another video with the instructions for you to get one of these free of charge. Free. Absolutely free. Okay. So, let me repeat. This video gets 1,000 likes, 1,000 likes, 1,000 thumbs up. So make sure you watch this video and give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and check back. Because once it hits 1,000 likes, I'll be giving, giving one away for free. Um, maybe I'll just give away this one. This one, just, this one is mildly, mild, mildly, mildly used. <laughs> mildly used. As you can see, it's still looking fresh, still looking clean. Um, I did a first impression video with this um, about a year, two years ago. I'm going to leave that link in the description. Yeah, that machine is such, that unit is start cycling like crazy. Yeah, I don't digress. Because that's not what this video is about. Okay? This video is not about that. So, so you can see what's going on here, guys. With Testo 557S comes with your, comes with the smart, the smart probes or the, the clamps, the temperature clamps. They are wireless, they are Bluetooth. Um, comes with a vacuum gauge, right? The 557S has the, the vacuum port. Right, this is a regular refrigeration charging port, a refrigerant charging port. You're doing pressure pressure testing, adding refrigerant, all that stuff. But right here is for evacuation. Okay. Um. Yeah, but I'm gonna run through some settings real quick here. So you see here um, on the app, what some of you may not know. Once you see the app is connected to the to the to the to the. To the uh, once the app is connected to the gauges, you're gonna see the smart little phone icon right there. So I got my two sensors. And if I turn on, apparently, this is not connected. It's flashing amber. So I think if I go into vacuum mode, when I go into, or when I, when I think, when I go into vacuum mode, it's gonna look for this sensor. So we're gonna do that in a little bit. We're gonna go into vacuum mode in a little bit. Right, evacuation mode in a little bit. But once you see you have the little phone icon on the screen, that means, you know, this screen, the phone is just a mirror, like you can see right here. I, if I go into, if I go into say, um, if I go into uh, measurements programs or measurement programs, I can't, I can't go into it. It won't allow me because that feature or function is disabled once the gauges, once I'm connected, once the, once the app is connected to the. Uh, the manifolds all right um so to, to 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 change the different measurements or different modes you're gonna have to hit enter uh in the menu and then you can see right there you know you can select measurement modes right here and then you can do the different things right now i'm gonna tell you that you can use these these uh these clamps you can use these clamps independently and this vacuum sensor independently just with it just with the app okay just with the app you don't need to have this part up you don't need to have this part you can have this part completely separate doing something else if you don't want to or if you want to but you can these can work with the app by by itself without this independent of this the, the manifold and i'm gonna show you i'm gonna show you that in a little bit but let's go into evacuation mode so we can connect that uh, vacuum sensor or the micro sensor the uh 552i now if you have the 557 
the key difference here, the 557, it has, it has, you don't, you don't have the, the Ford port for the vacuum. And I think the 550, correct me if I'm wrong in the comment section, the 550, which I think I have, that's the, that's the other one that I have. The 550, it doesn't have, uh, it, it's actually, it's actually wired, wired, um, wired vacuum gauges or vacuum or microns, micron gauges with this part is wired. It's not wireless and you got to put the sensors everything is plugged in right so I'm assuming that we can still use the wire the wire temperature clamps with this gauge with the 557s as well because you have both both uh, plugs right here both sides I can't get this I can't get this one out but it's the same thing um, anyways let's select vacuum mode we're there too much going on so like I said I'll be giving away this okay so now that you can see the sensor is green it's connected and we're in vacuum mode and that this now the screen here is also in vacuum mode I could press start and we are starting the vacuum and it's using it's using I think during vacuum mode we can use the temperature with temperature sensors as well it uses it use it uses one of these I think it does yeah it does so it's using the the 97 degrees so it's one of these sensors I don't know which I don't know which one is doing 97 degrees, but it's I guess they're both doing 97 degrees, but it's using one of these in vacuum mode. So if you don't have it connected, it's gonna ask you to connect your sensor. Alright, so let's stop that. Let's go to that mode. Let's go to a different mode. Abort. So yeah. I'm just going over what is what this thing can do, the app. Because the first impression video I didn't do all this. Alright, so again, this video has to get a a thousand likes and then I'm gonna do a giveaway a brand new one or I might give away this one if you're gonna get this one you're gonna get all the hoses I'm gonna do it for my giveaway this one you're gonna get all the you're gonna get vacuum hoses you're gonna get all your all your refrigeration hoses with it in the same box all right because it doesn't come with the hoses all right so let's about that okay let's go and do something different measurement again um, let's see what we can do here uh, leak test let's, let's, let's select that Leak test, boom. There we go. See the screen over here changes to the mode pressure test, boom. And we're still incorporating the temperature sensor as well in the leak test. So you can see that, and then you can see I don't see the temperature. Set. Okay, well, we are using the 474, which is this one 474. This one is a 453. Okay. All right, what else can we do? Let's 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 just get out of that one. We can press start right here. Boom, that start. And you know we're going. The, the test has begun. Okay, let's stop. And you can. Can you press start on the app? You can save this if you want. New. New measurements. Okay, so you can you can so we can press start in the app. And. Uh, start and I did a range test uh, I did a range test on the, my first impression video this thing does go for goes or goes a bit ways away you know I'm um, go watch that video I'm not even gonna do that again let's, let's just forget that. I'm not doing that again I want to do too much I want to just cut this video off in like next three minutes four minutes five minutes stops okay just hit stop on that test boom and you can do the same thing you can like email that I mean, it's pretty straightforward. Got a report right there, all that jazz. You know what I'm saying? I never did that, but you can. You can do a table view, the graphics view, the graphs, the graphs. You got you got live view, table. Graphics shows your graph and all that. And then, so let's go into a let's let's let's, let's uh, go into another mode. Another mode, a measurement. Um, let's see. 
So what can we do here? We got super heat subcooling. That's a normal, normal measurements, like regular reading. Refrigerant charging. I think this one they have a manual charge recovery auto charge. So the, if you're working with the scale, right? But I don't have the scale. So manual charge, right? Let's do that. See what that looks like. Um, don't really look like much. I guess that's manual charge. <laughs> right, let's get out of there. Let's go out somewhere else. I don't know. That doesn't look. That don't look interesting. Cause man, let's see. Let me go back. I think you didn't see it. It looks like. Right. I mean, this is just manual charge. Let's get out of there. That's what else we got. Uh, boom. So refrigerant charging. Auto charge. I know auto charge wouldn't work because I don't have the scale. It's going to be looking for the scale. All right, there's other components which I don't have. 560i. All right, see that? So I'm going to cancel that. Escape. Um, charging by superheat. Okay, let's go. Let's see that one. Um, let's see if I could this one would work. Let's just try that. Okay. All right. All right. Well, it's, I think it's looking for someone else. Because it's the, the 557S disconnected. And that's me. I have pressures. Oh. Uh, see? It's looking for the scale. Where's the scale? I don't have the scale. Let me zoom out of that. It's a scale. I don't have that. 557. Five, 557. Five, it's a scale. Weight in pounds. I don't have that. Alright, let's get out of there. Let's 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 do something else. Right? Let's do something else. Alright, let's just I mean it's pretty much straightforward, like you can play around with the app. Can play around with it it's pretty cool I, don't, I never use none of these functions I did I use leak check and I use evacuation and then just the regular measurements all right so it's, this, this is the mode I use I use I use evacuation that mode I use this mode and then I use I never even use that mode I did use this mode a little bit Delta T but yeah, I never use that mode. The TDL discharge line temperature compressor. That's what I think that's what it is. I never did that. I did leak test. I did evacuation, and I did the regular, like this one right here. It's just a regular gauge. Regular gauges. You can do super heat subcooling all the jazz. You can see right there. All right. Um. Well, things you need to know, how do you change the refrigerant? Because right now, I am on success water. Additionally, before I even do that, I'm gonna show you, see how my low side is reading minus 7.5? High side is reading minus 5.5. To, to zero out your gauges, because there's nothing connected right now. There's no hoses. To zero it out, just press and hold P equals zero. Boom zeroed and if you want to know what other um, access the refrigerant can you do it from here let's see um, I don't know mm -hmm. nah, I don't think so nah nah mm -mm. nah nah okay so here's how you do it from the gauges press this button right here this button boom and now you can select your refrigerant if you have the latest refrigerant chart uploaded all of the new ones they're all there I just I just did an update just now so that all the latest A2L's refrigerant is in here baby all right okay so let me just show you I'm gonna turn this off turn the gauges off the manifold and then I'm gonna show you how this thing's gonna work just with it with the app so now the gauges is off and you can see I got no pressure readings but I have my temperature still 
and my vacuum gauge is still there. The 552i five, five, or 205, whatever. It's still there, so you can use all those independently with just the app. So here's what I can do now. Now if I go into measurements, programs, I can. Oh, wait a minute, these are locked? Pros only? Yeah, I'm a pro. Why can't I use that? <laughs> At least I think I'm a pro. Um, but I could do Delta T. Boom. So I got my two probes right there. See that? I'm doing Delta T. So I'm using that. I'm, so you could use, you know what you could use these with? If you just got a regular manifold gauge like this, like this right here, and then you check pressures, and then you look at your saturated temperature, saturated temperature, say 14A, it's like it's on 150 PSI or say 125. Saturated temperature is like 40. Is it? Yeah, 125. It's about 42. Or maybe if you want to get 35 saturated. This thing's like messed up. Anyways, so you see you got like 40 or 125. Or I say 150. It's like 50 degree saturation temperature. Then you clamp this on your suction pipe. And then you get suction type suction pipe temperature. And then you just simply use a PT. PT chart. You ain't a PT chart. You simply can calculate your super yourself. And the same thing for the subcooling. Clamp one of these on your suction, I mean on your liquid line. And with your head pressure, you can use a saturation temperature, or saturated temperature, versus the actual liquid line or suction line temperature to calculate um, subcooling or superheat. Right? If you don't have the manifold. That's another way you can use these. I just or just a delta T if you like checking, entering water, leaving water from a from a radiator, from a fan coil unit, chill water stuff, you can use it for that. But the, the pipe the pipe there middle can be too big though because usually chill water pipes, you know, it's a chiller. You know what I'm saying? But fan call, I guess you can use it for that. Right? And yeah, if you want to check delta T across your liquid line, or across your your liquid line to know where if the, if the filter dryer is restricted, boom, you can use these two for that. That's this test mode right here. Delta T. Um, what's can you do with that? Um, I guess you could probably just stock one by your supply here and one by your return and do that by the unit and then we can we can go into vacuum mode let's see that's the measurements now we can go into refrigeration we can't do because we have no we don't have the manifolds but we can do evacuation here we go see that we're in vacuum oh, i can start the test configuration needed Um, what's this right here? I'm being temperature. I do have a sensor connected. Oh, this is crazy because I have the sensor connected. Why doesn't it pick it up? It's just silly. I got two sensors connected right here. Wait a minute. That's just that's just that's just that's just that's just that's just, that's just great. That's just crazy. I don't know. But I'm gonna close this video off. You get it. You see. You see what's going on. All right. I said I want to give one of these away. I need. I need a, a thousand likes. If I if I see a thousand likes in this video, then I'm a, then I'm gonna um, upload a, upload another video with the instructions. And on how to win. So, you, so you, but I tell you one thing: one of the requirements is going to be that you have to be a subscriber. You have to be a subscriber. If you're not a subscriber, don't even bother, right? So, yeah, that's going to be that's going to be one of the requirements. So, after a thousand likes, check back, watch this video, keep checking back, keep checking back on the channel. If I get a thousand likes in this video, whenever it gets to a thousand like, a thousand thumbs up, I'm gonna do a giveaway. Stay tuned for the instructions. I'm out.